What's up guys, this is Joe and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid and we're picking things up here from where we left off last episode in the Nuclear Warhead storage building in the second floor basement. But, let's see, whoa, what's going on? Why do I have an O2 bar? Electrified floor? Jeez, Snake, they want to put you through the ringer. First against tanks, now against this? It's going to just get worse from here, isn't it? But where is it leading us to? I guess this is what it, uh, it powers the electrical floor here. That is an awesome sound effect. I don't think they've played that yet in this game, but... Man, this is terrible. Oh, we got a codec call. Who's this? Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote-controlled missile. Ah, remote-controlled missiles. I know exactly where to find that. It's called the Nikita Missile Launcher. I think it, I think that's what it's called. It's on the first floor basement of this building, but it was also in the second floor basement of the tank hangar. And I'll be sure to go back to the armory over there later because I'm going to want to pick up some items. So, I mean, now I've got some more Nikita missile like ammo waiting for me, so that's pretty good. But let's go ahead and go to the first floor basement, and we're going to go ahead and find the missile launcher. Now, I was going to say something. I forgot what it... Oh, yeah, I had another codec question. Oh yeah, another coded question, and first of all, I'm going to go ahead and just take care of this guy so I don't have to worry about him. Man, what a way to go, right on the urinal, that sucks, dang. Did he drop anything useful, the SOCOM bullets, anything in the stalls here? No? Alright, well let's go ahead and get the missile launcher. But, another codec mystery. If you've noticed in the codec screen, they've got each, like, each character's face. Now, originally I thought that was, so that was just so that the player could have like a visual of who's talking. But then you see things like Meryl taking off, I think it's called like a balaclava or the ski mask or something, she takes it off. So that snake can see that it's her, I'm assuming. So can they see each other somehow through the codec? I do not know. I, I really don't know how the codec works. Like, it, there are so many mysteries to the codec. So there's another question. Can the characters see each other? I mean, why would it matter? I mean, if I were her, I wouldn't even take the ski mask off. Because that puts me in jeopardy of getting found by the other genome soldiers. So I don't know why she's doing that. But be, maybe because Snake can see her somehow. Like, I don't get the codec. I'm sorry. There's another codec question. If anybody knows or has any theories, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to read them. I mean, I reply back to everything. So tell me what you think, because I have no idea. All right, but now we've got the Nikita missile launcher. And we're going to go back down to B2 and settle things with that evil switchboard. And it's funny freaking sound effect i don't think i've heard that before too and what's cool about this thing is you can punch with it in your hand you see how huge it is it's like the biggest gun you can do that with but it's a remote controlled missile so of course when you shoot it well i'll go ahead and show you in a minute but when you shoot it you can go into first person view and actually steer the rocket i always thought that was really really cool made this weapon stand out let's go ahead and take care of it now and i hope i don't run out of oxygen i mean i don't have any type of items to help keep my oxygen in check i mean it's just going to constantly go down so I'm going to go ahead and make this missile and try to get it to hit the switchboard as quickly as I can. And you have to watch out for the turrets in these lab rooms here because they can shoot your missile down if you put it like right in front of them. Kind of like how I'm doing. I'm surprised it hasn't been shot down yet, but hey, I'm getting lucky for once. But yeah, those turrets can shoot your missile down and you'll have to shoot another one, so just be careful. But it looks like I've made it in one shot here, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and destroy the switchboard. Boom! And it's going to go ahead and de-electrify de the floor. I don't even know if that's a word, but... The floor is no longer electrified, so Snake, the room is still filled with poisonous gas, but at least you don't have to worry about frying when you touch that floor there, so. Let me go ahead and just refuel my oxygen here. That's, I guess that's a little common sense tip. Go back into this room to get your O2 bar back up before you have to head in here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open as many level 3 doors as I can, and we'll get some new items. There's one item in particular I'm looking for that'll be really useful, not only in this area, but any areas that have poison gas. Alright, that's a level 4. I think it's actually in this room. And of course, it's guarded by a huge turret. And those things, if you remember from the armory, the second floor basement in the armory, they're pretty damn strong. I mean, when they see you, the alarm doesn't go off. But when they shoot you, it takes like half your life bar. I mean, my life bar has increased since then, but still, they're pretty strong. But as you can see, I got the gas mask, which is what I was talking about. That'll help you conserve O2 for a longer period of time, so you don't have to worry about, you know, running out. You can just, you know, you'll have more oxygen to use in areas like this. So you're going to just see me going back and forth between the gas mask and my level 3 card. Now that's something that's kind of annoying to me uh, in this game, how the cards, you have to constantly equip your card if you want to open the door. Like for instance, it's like this, I have to unequip my gas mask, lose oxygen. It's just, I find it pretty clumsy. I wish they would have just, you know, said, oh, he has a key card in his inventory. Well, then that counts. I know they do that in the Twin Snakes, the remake, but not in this game. 
So that's one thing I'm not really fond of. Got some more chaff grenades. It's always good, especially when you're in rooms filled with turrets like this. I'm going to go ahead and throw one. Hopefully I can make it all the way to the next area on this one grenade. Come on, snake. And my oxygen's getting really low, so hopefully... Come on, run, snake! I think I'm going to make it. Yeah, I've got it. Good. Made it just in time. Oh, got to get my level 3 card out again. All right, so what's coming up now? Are we going to find Dr. Emmerich yet? Where is he? Oh, this room looks funny. What was that? What was that? Yeah, this part always scared me when I was just like a young kid, how it's so quiet. It's like, you that's it, there's no music or anything, so well, let's go ahead and witness the horror. It looks like they were cut by some type of blade. Man, this place is a mess. Yeah, this always creeped me out when I was a kid. It's a ghost. You hear that music? Like, what is that? It, it was just so unnerving. Look, this guy, you can see his rib cage and everything. That music, though, whatever that is, used to just scare me. Oh man, these poor guys, what else is going on? That cyborg ninja we saw from back in uh, the uh, armory after the ocelot battle. What's he doing here? Oh, they're giving me level four clearance with a level three card. Okay, hopefully he doesn't kill the doctor. Nice. Stealth camouflage. Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No! Ah, fine. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Alright, so we've got to go ahead and fight the Cyborg Ninja. This is one of my favorite battles, boss battles in the game right here because it's just so nice and simple. And it's pretty symbolic if you know the past history of the past two Metal Gear games, specifically Metal Gear 2. So let's go ahead and take him on here. He's going to be talking trash all throughout the battle. And if you notice, there's just one thing I usually do with him. Well, let's see what else he has to say. Now we can fight this warrior. Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Alright, so we'll be doing different phases throughout the battle. As you can see, he threw away his weapons. So now I'm going to go ahead and do hand to hand combat with him, even though I didn't have a choice before, but whatever. But what I like about this battle, what was I going to say before he interrupted me? Oh yeah, one thing I've, a little tip that I do when I fight this guy. You'll be noticing that I do a lot of circles with Snake. I try to get around, well not there, it kind of failed, but I try to get around to his back. To hit him in the back or just do circles to dodge his attacks like this, you see? That's a little tip I can give you from what I've learned over the years. That's how usually how I beat the ninja. And if I remember right, you can actually, that locker back there, that uh, 
the doctor is hiding in. I almost said his name, but he hasn't told us his name yet. The guy that's hiding in the locker there, you can actually do something funny with him. I'm going to try to do it in a second. If it doesn't work, I'll just tell you what it is because I don't want to die to the ninja. And, of course, I'm running on that 15-minute time limit, and I really want to beat him within the time limit. I'm not going to just cut it halfway through the boss battle. That's just BS. I'm not going to do that. I'll have to restart, but hopefully we can get everything done within the 15 minutes. Come on, ninja. What are you, scared of the legendary solid snake? There, take a boot to the groin. <laughs> that's what it looked like, dang. But yeah, just do uh, the three-hit combo over and over and over. As you can see, I've already got him halfway down. And he I, I haven't even used the ration yet because he's barely hit me. But you have to be careful because towards the end of the battle, you'll see his attacks get pretty ridiculously strong. Like, I'm probably going to... I guarantee I'll be down at least one ration from where I am now. That's good, Snake. Hurry up and catch me. Oh, good. All right, well, he's right beside the locker. There you go, nice and easy. That's like the best one when he shows you where he is. All right, let me go ahead and try to do this locker thing. Come on. Can you hear him? Oh, crap, he's coming. You know what? Forget it. Forget it. What happens is that if you flatten yourself against a locker and you knock on the locker like that, you'll hear the doctor start crying and stuff. It's pretty funny, but apparently he doesn't want to do it. I guess he's so shocked and frightened that he can't even make a noise. Got me hit by the ninja. Well, I've still got three rations. Like I said, by the end, though, I'm probably going to be at least one short because... His attacks get pretty strong. We're trying to find you. This is probably the most annoying part of the fight when he uses the stealth camo. Let's try one more time. Nothing? Alright, fine. Forget it. Just I already told you what he does, so it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and try to finish off the ninja here. I hate when he's in the stealth camo mode. I just want to, you know, he, his next mode is pretty easy, but his attack is really, really devastating. Alright, here we go, right here. I've been waiting for this pain. Like old times. Is he? Do you know Snake? Does he know Snake somehow? But like I said, this phase of the battle is pretty easy. He's just gonna teleport around you. Just move. Oh well, die. See how strong his punch is. I'm already down a ration. You just dodge his ra uh, dodge his ration, dodge his punch, get around the side, and just hit him with a three combo again. Just like this. Ooh, that poor chair. I'm surprised it didn't crumble under his metal fists. Remembers? Alright, so th this guy must know Snake somehow. Do you remember Snake? The feel of battle? The clashing of bone and sinew? Yeah, this guy's messed up, man. He's almost dead. That's good, Snake. He likes getting beat up. He, I don't know why. Hurt me more. Alright, buddy, got no problem doing that. Aw, oh, man. Oh! There we go, got him. One more three-hit combo should put him down. I wonder why the, like, from where this guy knows me. Alright, there we go, he's dead, right? No. That is his most devastating attack. If he hits you with that, I guess, electricity, yeah, you, you take a pretty big amount of damage. Hopefully I won't get hit. Come on, get in there, Snake! There we go, I think you've got to hit him three times. That was one. Oh, come on, I wasn't even close to him. All right, let's try it again. Let, let him go down. All right, going in, going in. Come on, Snake. Oh, come on. Down two rations, man. There we go. When he goes back to the desk up in the top right, yeah, that's when you know he's almost dead. This is the last punches we're going to have to do to the ninja. And then I'm going to go ahead and end the episode after that. Come on, man. Snake, get in there. There we go. We have beaten the cyborg ninja. I felt that, Snake. Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. What? Not again. What's happening? Man, that guy is insane. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see you back next time. Thanks for watching, guys.